Hi Cancer, this is your December 20th through December 26th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and uh, share this video to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the Four of Pentacles, clarified by the Devil. We have the King of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Wands. We have the Queen of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have the Chariot with the, the Magician and the Lovers. And we also have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. You could also be dealing with a Capricorn or a Gemini or perhaps another Cancer. Well, well, well. Cancer. I don't know if you believe in twin flame connections. Um, if you do, that could be it. If you don't, this person is at least your soulmate. And uh, there will be like this um, instant magnetic attraction. And I do see it being mutual. Both of you will feel this unnatural pull towards each other. Both of you will want to hold on to each other and never let each other go. Both of you will want to you know, you, you're just not going to be able to keep your hands off each other. Right from the get-go. It's like instantly. <laughs> right? So, um, we have the devil um, and uh, the lovers in the same spread. And uh, those two cards always kind of look the same to me. And we also have the two of cups on the bottom of the deck. If you take a closer look, those cards look kind of similar, all, all three of them actually, with the devil card all the way to your left there's um, the devil I guess and two people in the bottom of the uh, card. Um, in the two of cups we have also two people and then something above them like a divine intervention or a deity or an angel whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> in the lovers right next to the deck it's very similar to both of those two cards, right? We also have an angel or a deity or something um, on top and then two people on the bottom. So there's definitely <clears throat> two people coming together and it's going to be a very powerful, very strong connection, very strong attraction. Like I said, you're not going to be able to let each other go. Speaking of that, the very first card I came out is the Four of Pentacles all the way to your left, which is clarified by the Devil. The Four of Pentacles in this particular spread, like I said, this is a, it's like borderline possessive energy. You're just, you just want to hold on to each other. You, you're not going to be able to keep your hands off each other, right? All of this is because of this intense, instant pull towards each other. The Devil, um, clarifying the Four of Pentacles. It could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. The Devil is the personal Capricorn card, but again, I think this is that um, connection, that crazy, passionate connection at first, right? Um, then we have the King of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Wands. The King of Wands is uh, the person you're dealing with, probably a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If they're not a fire sign, they're just getting really, really fired up about you. And uh, you see, it's kind of symbolic that uh, the King of Wands is holding up a wand, and that's exactly the one we see in the Ace of Wands. So this person is ready to go. <laughs> this person is just, they just can't wait to uh, be together with you. And speaking of you, there you are, the Queen of Cups, the next card over, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. Um, as I already mentioned, we've got the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. This is a soulmate card. Uh, it's a card of unconditional love. It's a card of two people feeling the same way towards each other. Lots and lots of emotions, lots and lots of love. In the potential outcome, we have the chariot with the magician and the lovers. The chariot is your personal card, so you are in your own reading at least twice. And it's always a good sign to have your own card in your own reading. But if you want to stay general, then the chariot is all about moving forward. It's one of the fastest cards in the deck. The two of you could go on a trip together or you could meet this person while you're on the road. But uh, the chariot is a card of victory and uh, like I said, it's all about moving forward and not looking back. Then we have the Magician. The Magician is uh, all about manifestation but it's also a card of action, right? So you're taking action towards each other and uh, all kinds of action, <laughs> if you know what I mean, right? And uh, the last card I came out is the Lovers. The Lovers is the personal Gemini card, but it is uh, another soulmate card, just like the Two of Cups. And uh, uh, it's also a Twin Flame connection card, if you believe in Twin Flames. And we already talked about it uh, early in this reading, right? So if you do believe in Twin Flames, that could be it. 
Um, but uh, other than that, the lovers is also uh, the love of your life or the love of my life, as it's uh, said, right? So both of you are getting together. Both of you will feel the same way. You're not going to be able to let each other go. You won't be able to keep your hands off each other. Very pow powerful connection. And uh, all three cards in the potential outcome are major arcana cards. Whenever I see something like that, it's not really a potential. <laughs> you, I do see the two of you moving forward, right? I do see the two of you moving forward and uh, the sky is the limit. It's whatever you can uh, make of this connection, it, you'll make it. Because like I said, the magician is all about uh, making things happen. It's all about because you have all the tools you need at your disposal. So whatever you want this connection to be, It'll be it. All right. Really happy for you. Congratulations. Cancer, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this prayer is for you. We have the High Priestess. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the world. And uh, we also have the Hangman on the bottom of the deck. So it kind of feels like um, if you've been waiting for something, that's finally coming to an end. And uh, what you've been waiting for is uh, coming towards you. <laughs> Whatever that is. If you've been waiting for um, your person to propose to you, they'll be proposing to you. If you've been waiting for, say, a, a loan to be approved so the two of you could buy a new house or a new property, that could also be finally coming to an end. If you, if you want one of you has been waiting for a new job offer or if you've already got a job offer but you just haven't received the actual offer letter, that's coming your way. <laughs> this is the happy end spread. Right, so the hangman on the bottom of the deck all the way here, right? This is a, a situation that is stuck, that is not moving anywhere, right? So perhaps you've been waiting for something. The high priestess, the first card that came out, it's either all about your own intuition or perhaps something had to happen behind the scenes for this to finally move forward. The high priestess could be something hidden, something you're not aware of, right? Or it could be your own intuition. Then we have the Ten of Pentacles in the middle. The Ten of Pentacles is a card of a commitment or marriage. It could also be a card of uh, real estate, property, right? And uh, the next card I came out is the Ace of Pentacles and it's clarified by the world. So whatever you've been waiting for, that's it right there with the Ace of Pentacles. And it may even exceed your expectations with the Ace of Pentacles, right? Because it is a golden opportunity. If it's about money, then uh, it's going to be a lot of money. <laughs> Right? Or um, if you've been waiting for a loan to be approved, this is it right there. It's given to you. A coin is uh, extended to you. And uh, that'll be uh, the world to you. That'll mean the world to you. Potentially, literally, right? The Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the world, and the world is my happy end card. So whatever you've been waiting or anticipating for, that's finally coming to an end, and uh, it's a happy end for you. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Cancer, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. Also, keep in mind, we are in Venus retrogrades until about the end of uh, January. It'll be with us until the end of January. So that what that means is more exes than usual could resurface. <laughs> So I have the Eight of Pentacles, clarified by the uh, Page of Pentacles and uh, the Six of Cups. We have the Emperor, we have uh, the Chariot, and we also have the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, or perhaps another Cancer, or pretty much any Zodiac sign. Alright, so this person, this um, the Emperor, I think it's the Emperor who is coming back. Uh, perhaps they are an Aries or they are embracing the energy of the Emperor. And uh, the Emperor is somebody who steps up, somebody who is uh, ready for a commitment. The Emperor often comes through as the future husband or the future significant other figure. So perhaps they're stepping up to that level. Now they're ready to work on this. Now they're ready to put effort into it. Now they're ready for a commitment. So yeah, the first guy that came out is the uh, Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles, I think... This is them, like I, like I just said, telling you or even showing you that they are ready to put effort into it. They are ready to do whatever is necessary for this connection, for this relationship to thrive, to work out. right? And uh, the Eight of Pentacles is clarified by the Page of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is a card of somebody coming back from the past. And uh, the Page of Pentacles, it could be an apology, it could also be something tangible, something you can touch. 
So uh, say if you celebrate Christmas, they may ask Santa <laughs> to give you something on their behalf. <laughs> but seriously, jokes aside, they could, they could use uh, Christmas uh, as, a, as a reason or an excuse to reach out to you, to give you something, and uh, they, it may, you know, resume from that point on. But, uh, yeah, the Page of Pentacles is usually something tangible, you know. Um, we have uh, the Chariot right next to the deck. I think that's you, Cancer. The Chariot is your personal card. Right, and uh, the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck is about something traditional like a committed relationship or marriage. So that goes very nicely together with the Eight of Pentacles. So they are now stepping up, they're prepared to be serious. I don't know if you're going to care, Cancer, <laughs> but uh, just so you know, they are ready to uh, go all the way with you, especially if they were in, uh, uncommittal before. Now they're perhaps they've realized what they've lost, and uh, yeah, all right. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Cancer, this week. We have the King of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Swords, we have the Nine of Cups, and we also have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Well, it's one of the quietest weeks out of the year, but uh, something is still coming your way, Cancer, right? So the King of Pentacles, the first guy that came out, I think it's the person... Uh, reaching out to you. It could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but when it comes to work, business, and finances, the King of Pentacles could be somebody who works for a financial institution. It could be a hiring manager, a recruiter, somebody whom you already work with, right? And uh, they've got something for you with the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords, it could be um, like the yes answer if uh, you've been hoping to get promoted. It's a yes if you've been hoping um, to start a new in a new position, uh, starting new starting next year, that's also a yes. So yeah, basically something is definitely coming your way. The Ace of Swords is a brand new beginning. Some of you could be starting a new job in 2022, and uh, that's the yes right there. Um, others of you, if you've been applying for business loans or home loans, that's it right there. You're getting that. The Nine of Cups right next to the deck. This is a card of a wish come true. This is a card of personal satisfaction. So whatever this King of Pentacles has to offer for you, it will definitely put a huge smile on your face with that Nine of Cups. And uh, the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right. When it comes to work, business, and finances, this is my handshake card. So, yeah, whatever is coming your way will most likely involve um, either paperwork or some sort of an agreement or simply for the two of you to shake hands. <laughs> all right, so yeah, good news coming your way, all right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen this week, Cancer. We have the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Cups, and uh, we also have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Wow, um, it kind of reminds me of the uh, work, business, and finances spread I did for you a couple of minutes ago. In that spread, we have uh, a King of Pentacles, and in this spread, we have the Queen of Pentacles. It could be the same person, right? Um, so it could be a new job offer, a new business deal offer, a home loan approved, a business loan approved, or you just you're just getting paid. If it's not about that, then I still think this is about money. Right, the Queen of Pentacles got money for you, <laughs> Cancer. Right, uh, it could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but most likely the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who is in charge of uh, dispensing cash, <laughs> literally. Right, or they will cut you a check, they'll make you an offer, you'll receive a payment, something gets approved. It could be a new job offer, right? And it's an amazing job offer if that's what it is. Um, so, because we got a lot of pentacles here, so it's got to be about money. It's got to be about finances in some shape or form. The ten of pentacles on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right. It's actually one of the best cards when it comes to work, business, and finances. That means a lot of money, financial abundance, right? Completion. And the knight of pentacles with the ace of pentacles in the middle. This is it right there. It's uh, like the ultimate offer coming your way, or just a lot of money. <laughs> all right. Both the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles are amazing cards to have. It's just pretty much one confirming the other, that there's an amazing offer coming your way or just some money coming your way. And that's what you're not expecting. All right, Cancer, so that's what I got for you for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that... 
cancer. Have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.